Hello everyone, and welcome. One of the things I like to say is that people are lazy. Uh, all humans are lazy. I am extremely lazy. Whoever is watching this right now is likely very lazy. We're all lazy. We all want to put in the minimal effort in order to achieve something. And so if you can take something, if you can think of something that reduces the amount of time it takes someone to do something, uh, you win this game of life. The idea with my channel is if someone wants to learn how something works on their car, let's say a turbocharger, in five minutes they can watch my video on it and learn, you know, all the basics, all the stuff they need to know about how a turbocharger works is in that short, simple video. And instead of, you know, going out there and reading 20 different articles and watching 10 different videos, it's all super factual, boiled down to all the information you need to know and none of it that you don't on this one video about how it works. My name is Jason Fenske. I have a YouTube channel. It's called Engineering Explained. And the whole purpose of it is to teach about how cars work. I got started with my YouTube channel in college. It was my summer before my senior year and I was at an internship where I didn't have uh, any responsibility really at all. I had no responsibility, so I'd go into work and I'd do nothing. And after a long time of doing nothing and playing Angry Birds and chess against the other intern who also had nothing to do, I was like, I need to have something productive that I can put on a resume. Uh, so I started researching cars, not necessarily just cars, started researching how things worked and then I would go home and film whatever I researched and I'd take suggestions and so whatever people would say like, hey, how does a scuba regulator work? And I'd go into work the next day and learn how it works and then go home and film it. Uh, but really I only cared about cars uh, ever and so it kind of very quickly went down the avenue of how do cars work rather than just how do things work. So I live in Boise, Idaho now. I moved here recently from Portland, Oregon. I live with my girlfriend. She's going to grad school here to get her degree. Uh, she's studying leopards in Mozambique, which is pretty amazing. She does some really cool research. And uh, we live here with our cat, Bucket. There's no logic or anything you know, clever about that. We just think that animals are kind of dumb and they should have kind of dumb names rather than like people names. Like, why would you name your cat like Marie, like whatever, that's a normal name, like name it something silly, like Bucket. So we named our cat Bucket, and he's hilarious, he likes to stalk you, he likes to play, he likes to sleep, he likes to hang out, he's a cool guy, uh, and we live here and it's cold here. It's, it's kind of like a video game, and so if you think about like RPG video games, like you start out with this like really crappy level one character, and then you do all these different things, uh, you go out on quests, whatever, this is getting super nerdy, but anyways, that's what you do, uh, and you find better armor and better swords and whatnot, and your character gets better and you level up. Uh, and, and that's kind of how I think about YouTube, is it's this like video game where it's my life and so I want the stats to improve and so I'm always working for my channel stats to improve and I'm looking at views and watch time and audience engagement and things like that and I'm trying to make everything go up. This video sucks bad. It's just some stupid guy standing in front of a dry erase board with bad drawings on it talking about and giving bad explanations on his bad drawings. <laughs> guy was not very kind. How old are you? Your hair looks like that of a 40 year old. No offense. Like, why do you throw in the no offense? Your hair is like a winter Russian hat. Is his hair plastic? Yes, and the rest of my body parts. <clears throat> this is complete shit. I want to touch your hair. See, that person was, they were into it. So to be successful, I guess what makes a successful YouTuber, I think there's there's certain things that like as ground rules you have to have, like obviously you need to have your passion and just let that kind of dictate the channel because you get burnt out eventually. You want it to be something that you could think about all day, every day and never get bored of. So for me, that's like cars and engineering and science. You have to have a schedule, at least put out stuff somewhat regularly, but ultimately like, all it boils down to is the words that you're saying. Like nothing else truthfully matters, especially for my channel this is true because it's only factual. Uh, but people are watching because they're getting something from what you're saying in a video. And so if there is no weight to what you're saying, 
there's no weight to the video. It, it has no purpose. So ultimately, every like my goal with my channel is that every sentence that I say uh, has significance, and there's an important reason why I said that sentence. And if you know I'm saying some pointless sentence, I didn't need to include that. Like maybe this last one that I'm saying right now. So I first got into cars via a video game, Project Gotham Racing 3, for the original Xbox. It was kind of a cool game which had unrealistic physics, but they would have stats about all the different cars and it was kind of interesting and it was the first racing game I really ever played um, and it kind of got me into cars. Uh, when I was in high school, I got a 1999 Acura Integra GS, so that was my first car. Then I bought a Subaru STI, uh, which was what I thought I wanted. It was kind of the whole package. Uh, it does absolutely everything. It has an amazing all-wheel drive system. It's fast, uh, it's quick, and I thought that was what I wanted. But you know, once I started getting into automotive journalism and testing out a bunch of different cars, I soon realized that it really wasn't what I wanted um, and that there was a different strategy I should have gone with which was have your daily driver that's super practical and do everything. That's why I bought a Crosstrek. And then have a toy that's lightweight, rear wheel drive and seats two people. That to me is the most fun formula. I don't know everything about cars um, and it's it's challenging like the, the more you, you start to know things the more you realize how little you know and that's definitely been uh, true for my channel like I started out making the channel part of the you know background into it was I didn't know how cars worked and I wanted to and so I started making these videos kind of as like a journal of here's what I've learned and uh, there's, there's limitless topics out there and, and you could literally just take any one subject, tires, engines, suspensions, transmissions, any one of those individually and learn about them for the rest of your life. There's a lot of super smart people in the comments and you know there's a lot of not super smart people in the comments too but the thing that I think is cool to say like if I make a video uh, and it's on some topic and I post it and 100,000 people see it in the first day, let's say it does well, uh, one of those people, I guarantee you, of those 100,000, knows more about what I just presented than I do. And I think that's what's kind of cool about it because I'll make a video and then someone will say like, hey, did you know that blah, 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 and they'll you know, add some information on top of what I had presented. And no, I didn't know that. And this is someone who you know, really knows this material. You know, I'm learning from the comments and people are learning from the videos. That's what it's all about really to me is like, I just wanna learn, I'm curious. And I think the people watching are also curious, and so we're all just learning. <laughs> 